stuck into the haven. Oh, Lord, I said, I prayed about it, and I'm like, I don't care if it's three people, I'm good. And, you know, I was like, you gotta start somewhere. But I find, too, especially the, the more you have and the more successful you are, you know, whatever your definition of success is, it is harder to talk to people. Mm -hmm. Because then people are like, what, what, what you come to me? Right, right, right. Right. You have money, you have cars, mm -hmm. you have things, mm -hmm. so, but they don't understand that all of this does not equate happiness, does mm -hmm. not equate joy. Mm -hmm. Keep it. Mm -hmm. You may not want to go back and revisit it, right. but you just want to get it out. But one thing about journaling that I like is there's no wrong or right way to journal. It's just whatever works for you. Journaling is not therapy. It can't be therapeutic, right. but it's not therapy. What you're going to do for three minutes, you are just going to write your perfect day. There's nothing stopping you with this day. Nothing, not time, not money, not resources. You have it all. Maybe you don't want to journal about the problems or the issues. Maybe you just, for, for five minutes, just want to sit in your dream world. <laughs> Do that. So everything you see was somebody's imagination at that time. That chair, these floors, somebody thought of that first before it became physical. So it starts with your thoughts and believing that you can have it serve a limitless God. So what you are doing is rating how you feel in each area. So zero being not good at all. Ten being really good. <laughs> See, it's causing you to think deep about each area of your life. To think about what it would take for you to increase that number. You can't even comprehend it. You don't have to put the big thing. You can put the step, what I'm going to do to get to that next step. Because with the vision board, you have to look at it and you have to believe it. It has to be something you believe that you can actually obtain. It says, writing is an act of obedience. So it says, the word of the Lord in Habakkuk 2 and 2 instructed mm -hmm. us to write the vision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can play. Right, writing the vision is obedience to what God has asked us to do. Us acting on God's instructions put us in a position to receive his best. Writing allows us to zero in on our heart's desire. Putting pen to paper brings our desired center stage. Moving the idea from your mind to paper creates a physical representation of what is to come. God is pleased when we write in faith. Although we may not know all of the how-tos of our process, he helps us fill in the gaps as we trust him and we are obedient in small steps. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Your writing by faith is the material that your future victory is made of. Yo, there's no way I should have got approved to buy this building. My credit score was decent. I ain't have the money to put down. But guess what? I told my friend I want that building. And she was like, girl, you got some faith. And then, this, it also goes with the path. You don't understand the path. You don't understand the journey. But eventually, it takes you the way you need to be. I was in education. I was comfortable in my role. I wasn't satisfied. I wasn't fulfilled. Because I knew that's not what I was supposed to be doing. I took that path because it was what I, okay, this will be easy. I'm going to just be a teacher. That's what I did. So God was like, I'm just waiting on you. You know, I know what I'm ready to give you, but you sitting here comfortable when this is working. So I want you all to, like I said, whatever brings you joy, whatever vision he is giving you, whatever people keep telling you, you should, you should try this. You really good at that because sometimes you don't really see it. Or you do, but you try to push it away because it's scary. Mm -hmm. You know what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are like vision board queens. Mm -hmm. So we have made them. We believe in them. This was a great, this was yeah. great. Because this was, this really helps me to focus on what I really need to yeah. focus on. Because I would have had, I would have opened up a magazine again all over the place. And I would have had other I small this, place too. This gives me a guy. A drop. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you.